Welcome guys to a new video. In this one we're gonna cover uh, the breaker block. So the breaker block is one of the most powerful algorithmic entry ever, ever taught by ICT. You can use the breaker block either for uh, entering trades or frame your higher time frame narrative. This video is part of my uh, higher time frame PDRA identification series. I covered in the last video a uh, high probability order block. So how to spot a high uh, probability order block. I gave you three factors to consider when looking for an order block. In this one, we're going to cover a breaker block. All right. So the structure of this video is going to be as follows. First of all, I'm going to give you a diagram or a visual representation of the breaker block, both the bearish and the bullish breaker block. And then uh, the most important part, I'm going to show you examples. So I'm going to give you uh, naked charts and you're going to try to apply what you learned uh, on the chart and identify the breaker block. And then I'm going to show you after the fact. If you guys like this video, please uh, leave a like. All right. And um, subscribe to my channel to share more content in the future about uh, ICT topics and trading in general. So without any further ado, let's just get started. We have here a lower low. We have here uh, a lower high. All right, guys. So next thing we have lower low. So these are, these are swings, this swing low, and this is swing high. We are on a bearish uh, market or a sell program, all right? And uh, what do we expect here? We expect to uh, make a swing uh, that is lower than this swing high, so like this, and then continue. So the breaker and the bullish breaker block is going to be like this. So instead of making this felt swings right here, the price will... Uh, uh, violate this swing and move up with a displacement and then returning to this so this uh, the last uh, up candles before this move right here all this range is a bullish breaker block so price will then move away from this area right here so this is a bullish breaker block remember we have a swing all right a lower uh, swing and then we have uh, a swing high right here we then expect to uh, form a swing that is lower than this swing high we don't we uh, violate it all right and then with a displacement so if we violate it with a displacement uh, that means we have a high probability breaker block all right and the range all this range all these consecutive uh, candles are uh, considered as a breaker block so this is the bullish breaker block the bearish breaker block is similar is it is going to be like this so we have a swing high right here a high uh, we have a higher swing low higher than this one we then have a higher high and then instead of making a higher swing low all right we broke this swing with the displacement. Price will come back to this area right here and then move away from it. So this area will become the down, uh, all these consecutive uh, up close candles before this move right here will become a bearish breaker block. Now, this is the general format. Now stick with me with the live examples. And you will understand far better than these uh, drawings. So in this piece of price action, guys, there is, this is the Euro USD, the one hour chart. Try to identify a bullish breaker block. All right. Take a moment, uh, pause the video and try to identify it. Now, as you can see, we after adding uh, some lipstick, we have this uh, lower swing right here. We then have uh, a lower high. All right can see here this high is uh, lower than this swing high we then have a swing low right here lower than this swing then we expect to form 
a swing high that is lower than this. But we don't. We violate it with a displacement, leaving a fair volume gap behind. And then price returns to it. So the breaker block, as, as I told you guys, is this candles right here. Why we did it uh, take only this candle? It's uh, it's because we are on the 15 minute, or we are on the one hour chart. If we are on the two hour chart, then these two candles will become just one. That is why we are taking two candles instead of one. So if there is three candles right here, we're going to take three up close candles, three up uh, consecutive up close candles. All right. Price returns to it perfectly and then move away attacking this uh, buy side liquidity. All right. Let's move on to another example. Uh, try to identify it, post the video and try to identify a bullish breaker block in this uh, piece of price action. So we have this uh, swing, lower swing here, another uh, uh, swing below right here. We have um, a filled swing, you can see here, and then we expect uh, a lower swing high. We don't, we violate it with the displacement leaving a fairy only gap behind. Guys, when pairing a order block, uh, I mean, when pairing a breaker block with a fair volume gap, that's a high probability uh, reversal. So meaning that the price have a high probability from reversing from this area right here. So you can, this is from uh, today's price action. So this is the EU, Euro dollar. Uh, this is uh, 6th of July, all right? Price comes back to this um, area right here and then uh, moves away. As you can see, we are uh, choosing the, uh, in case of a bullish uh, breaker block, we choose the last consecutive up close candles before this move right here. Keep in mind. Let's go to our third example and this one is representing uh, a bearish breaker block. So this is the Dixie, all right? Uh, uh, try to pause the video and identify it. You can see here that we have uh, a swing right here. We have a higher swing, a higher swing high, all right? We have a swing low right here. Then we expect on, um, of course, on a buy program, we expect this swing to uh, stay intact. So expect uh, a lower swing right here but uh, it's higher a higher swing low higher than this one price then what uh violates it with displacement leaving a fair value gap behind and making this swing price returns to it hit this consecutive uh, down close candles all right so in case of bearish a breaker block we choose the consecutive down close candles before this move right here, price returns to it and then moves away. All right. So keep in mind to uh, I want to focus on this one on this point because a lot of uh, in your videos you will see that the 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 consider the breaker block is this candle right here, but the price is fractal, but it is connected with each other. All right. So we are on the 30 minute. We have this two down close candles. All right. If we go to the one hour chart, then these two down close candles will become one. So if you put, if you uh, maybe consider this as a breaker block and you put your stop loss just above it, then you can see that price would uh, hit your stop loss and then moves away. Why? Because this is the all, this is uh, the breaker block. So your stop loss would be up here. All right and you will be safe so we have come to an end of this video guys if you have any questions leave a comment down below or dm me on my twitter account and good luck and happy trading